All right, here's part B of our Unit 2 review. Uh, it says the expression 45N plus 10 represents the total cost in dollars of renting an escape room for N people. I think, I think this was supposed to be an N. Looks like an H. I think it's supposed to be an N. You're willing to spend between $300 and $500. Well, that makes this easy because I can just slap a $300 here and a $500 there. And that wasn't very difficult, now was it? Um, now we got to write an inequality, uh, dude, I've been telling you when you see between, 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 where's that word right here. Okay. You put the lowest number first, you put the biggest number last and you use the symbols pointed this direction. Then I have to ask myself, am I okay with spending exactly $300? And the answer is yes. So I can have that little line down at the bottom, the or equal to. And am I okay with spending exactly $500? And the answer is yes. In real life, the answer is no, I'm not going to spend that much money. But uh, for the sake of this problem, yeah, we're going to put a little line under there. Um, so that's how we, that's it. That's, that's all there is to it. You put the, the lowest number here, biggest number here, and the uh, symbols go in the correct direction. Just point to the left. Okay, the reason they're pointing to the left is because they're saying, hey, this is the lowest thing, this is the in-betweenest thing, and this is the biggest thing. So that's why the symbols are pointing that direction. If the symbols were pointing the other direction, then that would be bad. We saw that um, on the quiz B. It was the bonus question. All right, number six. Look, another between. That's great. Um, so we're going to solve this thing. And remember, when we solve it, this time there's there's two symbols, so I'm going to draw two lines. And uh, remember, the, the deal is still, I'm trying to get W by itself. That's the goal. So i got to get the constants away. i got to get you 23.9. You don't have a W. Get out of here. So we use the inverse operation, adding 23.9. But remember, since there's more than just two sides to this, I've got to add 23.9 to all the sides. Okay, see how I added it to all three sides? Because this one's a little different. It's It's got three parts to it. All right, so when I add it in the middle, it's gone. That was the whole reason we did it, inverse operations. Uh, so in the middle, I, I've got 2.5W. Uh, cool beans. On the left side, uh, when I do the math, I've got a negative 5. And on the right, oh, I don't have a calculator. Oh, it's going to be, let's see, 12.5, I think. All right, we're going to hope that's right. Cool, cool. And then my last step, uh, again, trying to get W by itself. So I've got to undo the multiplication there using division. All right. So I'm going to divide everything by 2.5. And negative 5 divided by 2.5, I think that's negative 2. And I don't have to flip my symbol because I did not divide by a negative number. I divided by 2.5, uh, not negative anything. So that's cool. How many 2.5s go into 12.5? I think five of them. Hopefully my math is good. All right, so I know that W is between negative 2 and positive 5. If I were to slap that on a graph, it would look something like this. Here's my, my number line. I've got a negative 2. I've got a positive 5. I'm going to do open circles because that's what those symbols want. And I'm going to shade between those two open circles. All right, all right. So is negative 3 between those? No, negative 3 would be over here. So negative 3, you stink. Negative 1, yes, negative 1 would be between negative 2 and 5, so we like negative 1. In fact, we like positive 1. Positive 1's good, too. Shoot, we like 3. We like 3. We don't like 5. Because it's an open circle, 5 isn't a solution. Get out of here, 5. And 7 would be over here, and, and no, no bueno. All right, so the ones that were between negative 2 and 5, not including negative 2 or positive 5. So these were the three good ones there. 
All right, this time we got an or. Burr, 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 burr. So we've got to solve it. And when we do this, man, we're just going to do two separate inequalities. So the first one says 8 is less than or equal to x plus 9. Now, remember, I said I like my x's on the other side. So there's, there's a couple ways we can do this, okay? The easiest way to do it is just to, just to flip it all around. I want my x on the left. All my x's live on the left side. So I'm, I'm going to move that to the left. Now, watch what I do here. I'm just going to flip everything around. So that x plus 9, man, I'm just moving you to the left. So I just put it on the left. That 8, I'm going to move it to the right. And I'm even going to flip that symbol around. Okay? So all I did was I flipped everything around because I really wanted my x on the left. Now I can start working. So remember, uh, when we do this, I want my... My x is on the left. I want all my constants on the right. So that 9's got to go. Got to go, 9. 8 minus 9, negative 1. Bam! All right, halfway there. I've, I've done the one. Let's do the other. The other one's already got the x on the left, so I like that. All right. So we need to move the constant to the other side. So instead of a plus 12, show me a minus 12. Psh, get out of here. And 7 minus 12 is a negativo cinco. And there was the word or between these. So the word or means um, I'm not looking for the intersection. I am looking for uh, the, the union. So, so either one of those is good. So I'm going to find negative 1 on my number line. I'm going to put an open circle around it. So open circle around negative 1, and I'm going to shade to the right. So my answers could be over there, or my answers could be a closed circle around negative 5, and shading, according to this symbol, shading to the left. So my answers could lie on either side because of that word or. All right. Hey, is negative 6 a solution? Yeah. Hey, is mm, 7 a solution? 7 would be over here. Yeah, that would be a solution. So either one of those would be a solution. Or, the power of the or. Okay. Two different, um, two different sections with answers. Oh, and I messed up. I didn't read carefully. Did you catch it? I didn't have the right symbol right here. Oops. So uh, on the negative one, it should have been a closed circle. My bad. Don't be mad at me. Did you catch that mistake before I said anything? Hmm. All right, last one down here. Another or. So again, I'm just going to solve it separately. I'm going to be like, bam. I'm going to be like, hey, 8, you got to go. You're a constant. You belong on the other side. Get out of here, 8. I'd be like, 2x is less than or equal to negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. And I'm going to be dividing by 2 so I don't have to flip my symbol because it was just a positive 2 that we divided by. Negative 14 divided by positive 2 makes negative 7. All right. And on the other side, uh, 3, you got to go, dude. Get out of here. So I've got negative 3x on the left. And I've got uh, 15 minus 3 makes 12 on the right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Dividing by a negative 3. So when I divide by a negative number, okay, I've got to remember to flip my symbol. So that less than is going to become a greater than. And I had 12. 12 divided by negative 3 makes negative 4. So I'm going to have a closed circle on negative 7. And I'm going to be shading to the left. To the left, to the left. And then around negative 4, I'm going to have an open circle. And I'm going to shade to the right. All right, so my solutions could lie in either of those sections. That's, that's how ors work. With an and, it had to be that overlapping section. With an or, it's either.